Today we're going to figure out how to draw a bomb calorimeter. The best hint to do this is start from the inside and work out. So the first thing that we're going to draw is a little crucible. And in this little crucible is where we are going to put our fuel. That crucible is surrounded by a steel container. And this steel container is going to be pressurized with um, oxygen. So there'll be excess oxygen in here, so to guarantee for our fuel to burn, we'll label it up in a minute. That steel container then is surrounded by another container, which is filled with water. Change our colour. Okay, and the point of doing this is that when the fuel is burning, it's going to give off heat, and that heat is going to be transferred to the water and therefore you will be able to measure the temperature change in the water from before you started burning your fuel to when you finished burning your fuel. So it's a real simple but really clever way of measuring heat of combustion. Finally, that container is filled, with, surrounded by another highly insulated container and that protects the heat that's being evolved in the reaction from leaving your system and going out to the outside. Now this fuel is going to be ignited electronically because if they started the fuel to burn and then put on the lid there would be losses in there. So we're going to see now can we do some labeling. So we're going to start on the inside so this is going to be our crucible with our fuel. Ew, does not like B. So this is going to be number one. Number two, this is going to be our steel container. Ooh, can't spell today. Do, 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 do. So it's going to be a steel container. And remember we said inside here it is pressurized with excess oxygen. So that's going to ensure that your fuel burns completely. Okay, separate these for you. Okay, from there we have steel container, so now we have this is surrounded by water. And this last one is going to be an insulated container. Now you will never have to describe how this works, but you do have to know how to draw it. And our last part is the fact that this is ignited electronically. Okay, you can fill that in yourself. So that's four, five, and this is six. And that is how you draw a bomb calorimeter. Talk soon.